Good morning. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hi, Tara. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Um, and there's Jamie and Leslie, Dawn, Deborah, <coughs> um, Louise, Diane. Good morning. How is everybody? How are everybody? How is everybody? How is everybody? How is everybody? That's what it is. Um, it is the Friday before the weekend, and it's a 4th of July long weekend, I guess, for a lot of people. So um, maybe it's sort of uh, a big deal. And I was thinking a lot of people go to barbecues and parties, and even if they go to fireworks display, um, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to show your patriotic, your red, white, and blue for <clears throat> for that occasion? Um, and so we're going to be making these today. Look at these. Aren't they adorable? Look at it. It's this time to party like it's 1776. And it's a rosette. You see that? It's a rosette that I've affixed a pin onto. And then I also used a print and cut for the center. So I'm going to show you how, from start to finish, how to do this. Um, there are some parts that take a little bit longer. So um, I have re I've done them ahead of time, like I've cut them ahead of time, just so that you won't have to spend too much time worrying about that and uh, we'll put them together. We are going to need a glue gun for this project and if you want to replicate my pins, you can get these. These are, um, they're called flat backs. Flat backs, you see? And this is where you're going to put the glue to hold your pin. Now you don't have to make it into a pin. You could make it into a magnet. A magnet would be fun. Um, and, uh, and in fact, it's probably a good idea for us to do another rosette project. Maybe I'll think about that. Maybe some for the fall. I think that would be kind of fun. Hi, Emily. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Barbara. So let's get started. You made the banner from Wednesday class and my husband loves it on the mantle. That's so great. Deborah, I sent my banner to my mom's uh, adult daycare. It's called Trask and I thought that it would look really cute up hanging up. Hey, it's Christiana, how are you? Hey, Jay Lynn, how are you? Oh, hello, Gail. So, so welcome, we got all of our friends on just about this morning. So um, we're gonna make some rosettes. Rosettes are pretty simple to make. You can make them by hand. The Cricut makes it a lot easier though. And um, if you have the maker, you can use uh, the maker tool, which is this. This is the maker. Um, let me just show you. This is the maker tool and it is uh, for scoring trying to put this on here okay so you if you don't have a scoring tool or a maker you can also use this which is our scoring stylus so if you don't have a maker with the scoring wheel you can still do these you can also do these by hand um, they take significantly longer so uh, I figured why not utilize the machines for what they're good for and make these fun little things. So um, let's talk a little bit about the rosette. So rosettes are uh, basically they are, let me just, there's a lot of rosettes, by the way, in Design Space. These are very basic. They have sort of the pinking edge on the top, and you'll notice that it has all these lines for scoring, and then there's these little tabs. Um, I duplicated them, or triplicated, really, because I think two is going to work for each of our pin, but I thought I would get three on there just in case. Now, the paper that I used today for the actual rosette is from this paper pack. It's called Let Freedom Ring. It's Echo Park Paper Company. You can buy these paper packs um, 
usually online or some of the uh, of the scrapbooking companies, uh, like I think scrapbook.com. Sometimes you'll find them at Joanne's uh, online. Uh, Michael's does not carry them as far as I know. In in the event that you cannot find them online any other place, you can check Echo Park Paper. Uh, wait a second. Echo Paper? Let me just, let me Google it because I want to make sure that you um, know what it is. I think it's called Echo, E-C-H-O. Okay, it's called Echo Park Paper outlet.com and this is a company they sell this paper um, they sell different things like sticker sheets and this is called a collection kit so if you go to shop you can go to collection kit and you can see all the different collections that they have they have christmas uh, halloween thanksgiving or fall or spring easter um, a lot of Christmas and things like that. So these are collection kits. They come with a couple of different sheets. They're double-sided sheets of paper. And they also give you a sticker. So a sticker strip or whatever, a sticker page. It's 12 by 12. And these are really good for if you make um, scrapbooking pages. I don't generally, but I do buy these sticker pages because I, I like some of them. Some of these could actually be used on our rosettes if we wanted to. When I get organized, I'll show you my sticker collection and then you can see how crazy I am. <laughs> so, <clears throat> um, your youngest is 20 today, wow. Yes, yes, my son. Um, oh, paperclip would be a great idea for inside. Who, who wrote that? Let me just check. I want to see who wrote that. Um, you can make it a bookmark. Pat May. Hi, Pat. How are you? So nice to see you. Yes. Um, that's great. All right. I love that idea, Pat. Okay, so enough about the paper. What we're going to do is we're going to make these uh, these rosettes. And so you'll need these strips that I've cut out. You see, I've cut them out. And they each have um, the scoring there, okay? And then what we need to make is circles for the front and back of this. This is to secure your little, um, see that circle right there? I used Cricut Sparkle Paper, I think it's called. Um, and it's a thicker, like almost like a card stock. Um, and this on the back. So it holds this together. Now, one of the things that you all have told me about is it's good to get something round like this when you're making, um, when you're making, Rosette. So this one's a little bit big, but it's going to help me. And I'm going to show you how we use this. I am going to need to plug in my glue gun. T today I'm going to use my Cricut glue gun. I'm going to plug that in just because I wanted to get it hot for right now as I talk about the different rosettes. So... <clears throat> As always, um, you know, you'll find this if you want to, uh, what am I doing? If you want to, I made it too big. <laughs> there we go. If you want to find this in design space, you can find my profile and you can follow me on Cricut uh, community. So let me just go ahead and save this. So if you don't want to do this from the start, start to finish, you can certainly um, just come in the community and go right here and you can um, you can go home and choose community. Sometimes you can find it going this way and other times you can, uh, let's see, you can find it through your own. Here's a rosette an Independence Day rosette. And uh, let's have a look. I'm sure they don't have me there, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> that's okay. I'm used to being ignored. <laughs> um, all right, so here we go. Um, and if you go to community, which I cannot find, I never can find it. But I'm gonna go look at my profile so you can see that I have this rosette 
lapel pins somewhere on my community page, which apparently it does not show. So <clears throat> let's go back to the canvas. Anyway, yeah, sure, why don't you? Everybody could wear, like, if it's a gender reveal thing too, maybe you could do something like that. I don't know, but it appears as if my computer has has frozen up. So I think what I'm gonna do is quit here and I will try to open this again. All right, there it is. Okay, so there's my design space and I'm just gonna go to my stuff and where are my rosettes? Apparently they're not saved here. So um, I'm just gonna type in rosette. Here we go. Happy 4th of July rosette lapel pins. So these are public in design space, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, the circles, the lar these circles, which they're not very large looking, they're one and a half inches, but it's gonna work really well on my just over one inch um, strip of rosette. And then what I'm going to do is take these, I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see. I'm taking these images that I put together. So this is an image of what I was um, what I was wanting to do. So what I need to do here is uh, ungroup them. And then here we go. So here's this Star Spangled Cutie. But now if we made this a print then cut, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't come out correct. You have to leave a backing to it. So I'm gonna go over to shapes in a circle and I'm gonna put that circle into the back of my image so that I can arrange my, my uh, image, you see. I'm gonna change this to white. And here it is, right? Once you get this on here, the way that you like there, you would uh, group both of these or grab both of these. And you're gonna come down to the bottom here. And we're gonna hit, whoa, I hit the wrong thing. And look what happened. Okay, so um, we're gonna take both of these, you see, and you're gonna hit flatten. Um, flatten, which is down here, flatten. Okay, now you can't really see it unless you hold it up against something dark, but there is your circle in white. Now I'm just gonna need to make that um, the correct size, which is like about one inch, so it seems maybe one and a quarter inch. I don't know what size. These look like one and a quarter inch. So just to do that again, all right? So here is an image called Happy 4th of July, which I all, found all of these images in Design Space, okay? Um, and uh, you're going to get a circle, right? You can change the color to white because if you don't, you'll end up with whatever color that circle is, which is kind of a gray tone. So I'm going to arrange it to the back, then I'm gonna take my image and I'm going to make it small enough that it's going to fit perfectly on to my circle. I'm gonna take both of those and I'm gonna hit flatten. And then I just need to resize my um, circle so that it is uh, like about one and a quarter inches, okay? Now, here we go. This is, uh, we have actually completed project here. Um, I'm just going to show you how this is gonna look. So if we hit, um, <clears throat> if we hit make it, you'll notice that this page is a print and cut page. You see this? This means that it's going to go through your printer. Um, and you will first print it out because Cricut doesn't do any printing. It, you need to have a, a printer associated with the Cricut. And by the way, you may need to do 
calibration. If you need to do calibration, it's very simple. You just need to follow the directions um, as you go. Usually the, the Cricut will prompt you if you have not yet calibrated for print then cut, okay? Now you can also make more than just one set of these. So if you hit like say three or four, you can get up to, I think, eight of eight times four, the so 32. You could get 32 of these onto um, one page. And then you'll see here, these are all of our um, scoring wheel. Okay, that's the scoring wheel, that's the rosette. Okay, so I'm not gonna cut these out for you because honestly, it takes really a long time uh, using the the scoring stylus or the scoring wheel. So instead, I'm going to take you down here so you can have a look at how I put these together because these are um, a little labor intensive when it comes to putting them together, but the end result is just really cute, aren't they? And again, perfect for I don't know, any kind of celebration. So uh, yeah, birthday party. Why don't you make birthday ones or a Christmas party or something like that? I was thinking that I would make some for my mom's, uh, my mom's uh, adult daycare program. So here are all my cutouts for the, um, for the center. And these are my cutouts for that sparkle paper. You see how nice and thick this is? And this is called, uh, I don't know what it's called, shimmer paper, I think. But it's nice and thick. You want something nice and thick. And then you've got all of your cutouts for, for your, and these are double-sided. So I think what we'll do is we're going to do this blue. So um, we're going to go ahead and fold these at the score lines. I like to fold them both ways. So um, it just kind of looks sharper, crisper if you do it that way. So I'm gonna go back and do it this way, you see? Or I can flip it and do it this way if I wanted to. There we go. How about you guys? Are you gonna do anything special for the 4th of July? I'm, my whole family is going away and I'm gonna be here with my mom, just my mom and I. So I, I, we don't usually grill. So I think I'll just make her some hot dogs and maybe we can watch the Boston Pops uh, fireworks display on the TV. I'd love to watch that. I'd love to actually watch that when I'm crafting. It's just so much fun because it's like not the kind of thing you have to pay super special attention to. Um, when you are crafting, you can kind of get a lot done. Uh, today, what else do I have to do today? Oh, so I have to get Owen ready to um, go to New Hampshire. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm having a little separation anxiety here. Um, so just so that you know. All right, so here are two pieces. I think two is going to be fine. And I'm just going to turn them the proper way. So I have the pinking edge up here. And you see that there is this tab. So we're gonna do the same thing. These two are the same. So there is the tab right there. Now you can use regular glue for this part if you want, which I want. So I'm just gonna take and put the glue right on top of the tab, try to get it as even as possible. If you work on a surface that has like a ruler, this helps. So you can sort of get this lined up and it will come out nice and straight for you. A little dark, but what? Look at that. Yikes. Now, once you have that together, you're going to form a loop. It's still a little wet. You're going to form a loop and attach this one here. So let's go ahead and do that. I seem to find it easier to do it while I'm holding it. So I think I will do that while I'm holding it. Try not to use too much glue or it'll slip around like I like I did the first one. Okay, so make sure those are really well dry. Um, I'm going to end up having a problem, I think, because they're not quite dry completely. And so here is what I'm going to use. Okay, so um, 
So in this case, do I want the gingham or do I want the star? It, it doesn't really kind of matter, except that I want to have this pinking edge. Okay, I wanna have this pinking edge on the outside. So I'm going to try, I'm gonna go through and sort of give it a little head start by folding some of it like this. And, um, and that way it will be easier when we put it inside of our, either our mason jar, mason jars are good for this, um, or in this case, I have a roll of tape. So let's see, I'm going to just try to make sure that this is gonna work out, yikes. I, I really love to make rosettes, but um, sometimes doing it for a live audience can be a little scary. Uh, <laughs> but you guys know, uh, I, I, I show you everything because I want for you to uh, understand the process. Okay, so I want the pinking edge on the outside. So I'm going to slightly twist this. Be careful because you are working with paper here. And um, even though it's thicker paper, it could cut, it could rip like this why am I having such a hard time with this all right let's try this again I'm going to turn it in today feels like a beach day to me um, we have so many lovely beaches around here I would just love to just hop in the car take the dogs unfortunately they don't allow the dogs at certain times of year and that's this time of year. Like, so for the rest of the year, the dogs can roam the beach, but apparently not in the summertime. Okay, so here is my rosette. <laughs> I did it, and then it came apart. But see, what I'm going to try to do is to use my little tape to corral this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. I got it, I got it. Ha! Huh. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, let's see. I don't got it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try it here and see if this will work. You know, I, I want this to work so badly. Uh, come on, people. Come on. There we go. Say a little prayer that this gets done. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. <sighs> My dogs are getting excited, even. They're like, what you doing, mama? Um, and there we go. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, well, you know, third time's the charm. So let's do it the third time, see if it works. I'm gonna get the hang of it. It's been a while since I made rosette, so, ah, okay, there it is, there it is. Now, the idea about this is it's going to hold it together while you glue it, which is easier said than done, but here you go, here you go. It's going to make it easier to sort of glue it, you see, like that, and, uh, a mason jar cover would make this smaller on the inside than this does. So I'm seeing here that I probably should have gotten a smaller, uh, a smaller round circle. Is this smaller? No, that's not smaller. Although it is thinner, so maybe that will work. Let's try that. There we go. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I think we'll watch, like, the fireworks and stuff. But Owen is going to New Hampshire, and I have to tell you, I'm a little bit nervous. All right, so I'm going to put some glue on the back of my circle, and I'm going to take my rosette, and hopefully I can very gently plop it onto my circle because the... the, um, the Glue is hot, and it does take a little bit to grab, a little bit of time for it to dry and grab. And once you feel like it's maybe grab, uh, grabbed, it's grabbed, maybe when it catches, <laughs> it's a good word. 
Why am I having so much trouble with words today? So when you feel like it's catching, you see that's kind of catching, um, then you can use your glue in the middle, just like this, okay? There you go. And then you're going to take your circle, I think I used the red on the other side, and then we're gonna put that circle right on top. Now it is hot, that's why I want you to use a thicker paper, and if it bothers you that it's so hot, you can use something like your scissors to hold it down until it cools off. It's only for a second, but oh gosh, you just don't wanna uh, burn yourself with your glue or your glue gun right? Which is why I'm not so, so keen. Look at that. So I used the wrong thing, <laughs> but it actually looks pretty good on this side. So I'm going to do it on this side. Come on now. There we go. So actually we have a two-sided lapel. We can either use the red or the blue. What about using the lid front of a jar? Yes, Emily. Yes, of course. Oh, Babs. Oh, Babs is here. How are you? Um, how are you? Or do you have your friend from, I forget where, uh, is it Iran or I forget, Babs, you're going to have to tell me. Um, but she comes every year, right? Okay, so once this is settled, this bit is settled, and you might need to, to practice to get this done. Aye. All right. So once it's settled into your satisfaction, a jar would be nice too, Emily. You're right. Okay. Then um, you just need to make sure that your little circle is secured which is what I'm doing here, just securing my little circle. And then I'm going to take one of our cute little thing like this, this happy 4th of July. All right, let's hold it there. And I'm going to put a little bit. Now you could cut this out sticker paper. I thought about that, but then I couldn't find my sticker paper. And oh my God, I have to clean my my I keep telling you guys but it's the truth I have to clean my work space so and then you can put this on this side ta-da I'm saying it like ta-da like maybe um and it's sort of holding whoops okay and then we're gonna get some of these pins or one of these pins. We'll get a couple because we're going to make a couple of these. Now, it's Friday, which means it's freebie Friday normally here or joyful Friday. And just so that you know, um, you can get all of these. If you wanted to look for these kinds of things, I'm going to show you a place where you can find them if you do not have Cricut Design Space uh, subscription, okay? So there, it's kind of holding. So I can turn it around. I can take my little lapel pin. I want to put it so that the glue is it's glued correctly. So I'm gonna use this little thing and press that on there, trying to avoid the hot glue, which I seem to have done. All right, and that is our first one. Let's see if we get better at it. I think we will. So isn't that cute? So now we have a couple here. And what else do we have for colors? Did I have, I wanted to do the stars. We didn't do the stars yet, so let's do the stars. Hi, Sandra. Yeah, you could. You certainly could, Christiana. Print your own patterned paper. Oh, do they, Babs? Nice to see you, Sandra. I haven't seen you in a while. So, um... So yeah, okay, so I'd just be really honest with you. So yesterday I spent the day in bed. Um, I wasn't planning on spending the day in bed and it makes me feel like so useless. 
and it's I think it's it's sort of reflecting in my tone today and I apologize but um I'm on this new medication it's like an oral chemo med and so far I have not been sick um with it which is good because that's one of the side effects but another one of the side effects is um is headache and I have just a terrific headache yesterday it was just awful and I just couldn't get rid of it I drank a lot of like liquids and everything else and I just could not get rid of it and so I spent the day in bed and it's not as fun as you think it's going to be when you're a kid uh, you know it's not fun to spend the day in bed but sometimes you just have to you just have to uh oops I got this wrong you just have to let it play out that way, you know, you're, what do they call it? You know, you're bench warming, um, and that happens. Yes, yeah, so Gail's asking, um, I think she's doing that to get me to talk about it a little bit more. So, um, I chose a thin rosette here, you see? And um, and also, I'm only using two. But if I wanted to make this rosette much bigger, okay, um, I would choose a strip or a rosette strip, strip that was a little bit taller. Um, and this one here is just a little over an inch. So um, this, to me, is perfect for this size. But if you were going to make rosettes bigger, um, you would use something, maybe a two inch. If you get beyond like two or three inches, um, it becomes a way bigger project. So you will need more of these strips to make that happen, okay? So I folded this all. Now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to glue this. Yeah, I'm not on the top of my game today, but that's okay, that's okay. You know, this happens. I, I I guess I didn't plan on the old age part. <laughs> I just didn't plan on it. And then, you know, whatever. But anyway, I'm hoping this chemo drug does the trick because the other two started working, but they weren't working. Uh, they didn't work all the way. And so I have to keep going. I have to keep going. You have, cannot stop. Never give up as one of my friends would always say. A rosette reef would be awesome. Oh. Oh, you're interested in learning how to make these? Oh, okay. How do how, you have to do you? That is what it is all about. Please do not apologize ever. Ah, thank you. I know, baby steps. I know. I, honestly, it's the age factor, I think. <laughs> I think it is. All right, so we got these together, and we're going to try this again. Uh, I'm going to flip them in. Actually, I think that might have, oops, look, it's not glued all together. A little bit more glue. I tried to flip out the last time. I think if I flip in, that would be better. All right. Come on, stick. So I'll be back on Monday, even though it's like a holiday weekend. I was trying to think what we could make on Monday. Um, and I did have, had something planned. Now it's kind of, um, it's leaving my brain. I don't remember what it is that I planned, but it was kind of holiday themed. Oh, and I found this awesome image to make a flamingo because I know you guys love flamingos um I do too they're just so awesome but I found this really cool flamingo um flamingo uh paper cut in design space and uh, so some of those images are getting really good in design space it took a lot of while but but um but yeah I think they're kind of getting on the ball there which is good um, okay, so I'm going to flip in. This is what I mean by flipping in. All right, so I'm flipping in. Now I need to make sure all of my little rosette pieces are going.
going in accordion style because otherwise you end up with little bits here. What's going on here? Um, yeah, so yesterday I was going to do a class and so I had to cancel. We were going to do paper making um, with a group of seven, seven and eight year old girls that are going to camp and then I couldn't do it. So I felt terrible about it. But I'm hoping that for the next camp session we can do it. Why does this keep coming apart? Because I don't let the glue dry. That's right. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. I have to yell at that myself. Patience is a virtue. It reminds me of a Seinfeld. I forget what they did at Seinfeld where they were like, they had a word that they yelled that it was bothering them. So that something was bothering them. So they would yell the word, forget. Somebody would know. I bet Cheryl would know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, Babs, I heard about your husband. I read that on online. <sighs> That's a tough one. Um, and I, if it, it might help. I watched um, the brand new video from Michael J. Fox. I think it was on Apple TV. I'm not so sure, but it is called Still. And it was really helpful um, to me to see how someone could cope with a real change in their life. I mean, Michael J. Fox was like a superstar. And he was in some pretty awesome movies. And he was in a couple of really great soap, not soap, sitcoms. And... To see him struggling was really, really hard. I know that he kind of quit acting because of it. And, oops, what happened here? What happened here? Oh, jeepers. I'm going to have to let that go. Let it go. Let it go. All right. So, I don't know if I got that right, but I'm trying like heck. I am getting better at it. So once I have this sort of going, I'm going to put a little more glue here. Try not to get it on myself. I like to go a little bit down into the circle because I think it stabilizes it more. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, really? He really has Michael J. Fox and... Um, He's from British Columbia. It's cold. <laughs> it's shrinkage. Shrinkage. <laughs> That's right, Cheryl. <laughs> um, yes, I know. And there is a lot of struggle. Um, and you know what? Crafting, people, other friends, dogs. All that stuff really helps, doesn't it? Look at what I did here. Nobody's going to see that. Nobody's going to, it's not going to matter. But still, I know it's not right, but that's okay. Shrinkage. It shrinks. Oh, my goodness gracious. That was a funny, funny, uh, it, lately I, I, if I'm, you know, feeling a little down, I will watch like a comedian like Jim Gaffigan. Um, and I just think it's so funny. And the other one that I really, really love is Will Ferrell. Cause he's just, I don't know. He's just classic. And so when I'm not feeling great, I, t I put on something. Jim Gaffigan has a number of like stand up comedy shows. They're about an hour each. And if you put them on, they're on Netflix and they just make you laugh. Even if you um, have, 
uh, oh, you're, you have a 10 plan, Mama Bear? No soup for you! <laughs> oh, I know. Dogs and, uh, and people, like your friends, the people that you like, and your kids sometimes, sometimes, I guess. My kid, I love him. But it can be difficult. We took him to, or actually, Santo took him to um, Walmart to buy clothes. And they ended up spending $300 on clothes. I'm like, well, goodness me. He got like eight pairs of jeans. I'm like, oh, and you, you really only need like one or two pairs of jeans. Nowadays, people don't even wash them. But he was like, no, no, I get really dirty. And it's true. It's very dirty up there in New Hampshire where my sister lives. And he's going to be working. And so he wanted to have his, you know, pants. And he's like, no, I don't want shorts because bugs and blah, blah, blah. So he's given it a lot of thought, which is nice. Which is nice. All right, let's try this now. Let's put this on here and let's have a look at this one, which is now done. So this one looks really good. They got to watch them. I know, right? Okay. All right, Cheryl. Go swimming. Yeah, I think I will go to the pool too. I think that's a good idea, Cheryl. All right. So this is um, how we do that. I'm going to bring you back up. Um, because I want to show you a couple of little ways to find different rosettes and also um, think about different images. I know it's fairly good and I don't want to like stamp on his toes either, Christiana. So, um, so I just kind of like, mm, we'll just go ahead and let him be himself you know. So we're going to go over to the internet because I want to show you a freebie that I thought of after um, after the fact. And we're going to go to the website Love SVG. L-O-V-E S-V-G. You know that SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphic, which is what these graphics are. They're scalable because um, that means that they don't distort when you make them bigger or smaller, okay? So it's called lovesvg.com. I remember when they first opened, everything was free. They didn't have any, uh, they didn't have any of these, all these different things. Um, it was really very... It was free. Everything was free, but they turned into, you know, you pay for some things. But you can go up here to uh, freebies, free fonts. Um, but I like to choose this free SVG cut files, right? And you can go over here to holidays and choose 4th of July. And these are actually, these are all free. Now, they're listing these as... Uh, sublimation but to be really honest you could do print and cut with this so um, let's choose one that's kind of going to work with our USA with our little pins so let's go up here again SVG files and we'll do holidays 4th of July and see what they got these are more like it okay so here's one kiss me I'm American uh, land of the free, right? So what you would do here, let's find a couple more. My hero is a veteran getting lit like in 1776. Yeah, happy fourth. Um, all right, so let's do land of the free. And you have to log in to, uh, to download this file. But, you know, you just have to create a login and... I'm going to do it this time. I'll do it. Miss Rita to the rescue is my username and then my email. Miss Rita to the rescue at gmail.com. And then I'm going to type in oh, the saying my, my thing is weak. 
All right, we'll try that. <laughs> Gail, we're going to look at that, okay, Gail? Because I want to show you something else. So so this is, is a place you can get some really great SVG files for free, but you do need to, um, your, it has to be activated, so you have to do the email and such, okay? So uh, let's go back down to, re, uh, to Design Space, and I just want to show you, I'm going to save this all so that way when you guys come and look for it, you'll have a nice saved version. So um, let us do new, and I'm gonna go to images. And at first you can go to image sets and you can type in the word rosette. And there, is, there are two, um, two rosette exclusive uh, image sets. So this one is called ribbons and rosettes. And there's a lot of rosettes here. And this here stuff is just because this was a cartridge. And so you'll see this at the top. But you'll see here, you see these rosettes? Like you can do the little curly cues or you can do fancy ones. This one's a Christmas tree. Um, there's all different kinds. I've seen snowflakes and what have you. So there, but if you don't want to do image sets, we're going to go back here and we're just going to type in the word rosette. And when you do that, it comes up with different rosettes. Now these are not the rosettes that we're making. Um, so it looks to me like these are not, okay, here's one. This is a rosette. So we can bookmark that. And let's see where that came from. I think this came from Scoring Real View Image Sets. Oh, look it, it comes from Anna Griffin or Tablescapes Fall and Winter. So here's our Tablescapes Fall and Winter and that is a cute rosette. The other place that you can look is you can go to home and you can type in, where's the search box now? Okay, here it is, keep moving it. Um, and we'll type in rosette and you will see, this is mine, it looks like it's mine. I don't know, is it mine? It is, but of course my name isn't on there, but oh well. They don't like me over at Cricut anymore. Who cares? <laughs> this one is also mine. So, um, oh, these are my projects. That's why it says, see, look at Rita. You're, you're, you're jumping to conclusions. Okay, so Gail, what I was thinking of, see this here, this rosette design? You said you wanted to make a wreath. And you can see that this is a rosette design and you can make them bigger or smaller. Okay, um, so there are a lot of options for rosettes. Some of them are fancy. Look at this Halloween rosettes. And uh, this one says easy rosettes. I don't know what that means. But if you want to do view all, there's 155 different rosettes. Oh, look, Gail, there's an Easter rosette wreath over here. Um, and here is a... Halloween rosette wreath. That's really cool. Let me look at that. Wow. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. I have to love that because yeah, that is awesome. All right. And there you go. But they've got it for Valentine's. This is a, a patriotic one. Look, they have little uh, lion faces. Uh, yeah. And then you see people are using the rosettes to create like this, like a pumpkin, uh, heart-shaped ones, all of that. So there really is a lot uh, here for you to get started on. I think that that Halloween one is just amazing just because what they did here was they, they combined, it says here, I combined two sets of rosettes um, the spider wreath and 4th of July, and then Cat and an Owl from Rob and Bob made a spider, uh, added skulls, lots of work, 
but use as many or as few as you like. I was lucky to have Halloween cardstock from one of the crickets discontinued. I could use some of the three of the rosettes have plain back. So it doesn't really say how many she has. I suppose we can count them. Um, let's have a look. This is more close up. But this is a labor of love. This would take you a little while because you'll have to look and see what paper you want to use, what you have in stock. But there are just so many wonderful rosettes that you really need to give them a try, okay? And whether it's for this project or for another uh, rosette project. Um, oh, they won't? They won't have a DS... Yes. All right. So that's kind of it for me for today. I just want to um, just kind of just re go over this since we're here. So these are rosette. Apparently the dogs decided they're going to work now. But these are rosette lapel pins. They are made with patterned paper and then with these images are from Design Space. I've put on the back. You see this little lapel pin. I have used my glue gun to make that happen and to put the rosettes. And let me just show you again. These are the strips of rosettes and they have all been scored using my uh, Cricut Maker scoring wheel. Again, if you don't have the scoring wheel, um, you can use the scoring stylus because you still have to fold it. The stylus just gives you less of a uh, of a score, but you still have to fold it. So it's kind of like six, six of one, you know? Um, but there you go. Doop to doop. You fold them like this. I fold them the other way as well. And then you attach two together in by using the little, where are they? Using the little tabs right here, and then you glue them together, forming a circle. If it's helpful, you can create a little, you can either use the top of a, of a um, it depends on the size of your rosette. Obviously, this is a little bit too big for my rosette, but if I had a mason jar uh, cover or a cover from like a pasta or a salsa jar or something like that, I could use it for that to hold it together. And then you do need to use, I would use hot glue. I don't know if anybody's ever tr tried to use liquid glue for these. I suppose it would work eventually, but it would take you a really long time. Um, oh, Penny is so, so nice um, to see you. I love how they turned out too. And um, I hope that everybody, and again, just as far as uh, the paper, obviously you can use solids, but this is what I did use. You would make taller and wider strip scale. Like, so if you're going to turn this into a very large wreath, um, you would probably change the size of your rosette. So bigger, smaller, but um, it would mean you'd have to go taller, not necessarily longer, but more strips. You see what I mean? Like that. All right, everybody. I think I've pulled your ear enough today. Sorry, I'm not in the best of spirits. I don't know. I'm just like, meh, but um, I'll get there. You're making wider, you'd make wider, yeah. All right, yes, enjoy, enjoy whatever you decide to do. Enjoy this holiday. If you're from Canada, enjoy Canada Day, which is tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. And uh, why not make Canadian rosettes? I probably should have done that too. But there's just a lot of options here. And I just really love making these. So I hope that you do too. And we will see um we'll see you thank you penny thank you happy canada day yes all right everybody take care i'll see you again on monday bye now i love you too thank you babs happy fourth and happy canada day love you guys